She is getting her nails did and uh, she has a mattress getting delivered. So her friend Amy had to go back and let the people in while they finished up with her at the nail salon. I tell you what, I'm a keeper. I just drop what I'm doing and go get her. Definitely a keeper. I'm a keeper. I've got to get back to the house soon though. I've got uh, stuff to get finished for tomorrow's events. I'm already taking a laptop with me to get a quote out. I've got a few things to get done. Look, we gotta get the trailer loaded up and all that and a few projects in the garage. It's gonna be a full day, but I have nothing else planned except getting this stuff done. So we'll see. So it's just about to walk in, but here she comes. She's gonna say, I don't look good enough for video. Hey, yeah. how's your toes look? They're blue. Oh yeah. So once again, we're gonna eat on camera. <laughs> That's all I do is eat, it seems like. Yes. Stop, it's not true. I do a lot of things, but I don't always have time or the capability or number of hands to pick up a camera. But someone wants a what? What are we eating? Steak, a bloody steak. A bloody steak. No, she's not English. She means she wants some blood leaking out of a this bloody, steak. A bloody, bloody steak. She wants a little blood leaking out of the steak, so. Texas Roadhouse. See what you can do. <laughs> Leave my steak alone. That's just nasty. How can you eat that? It's amazing. This is the best thing ever. Yep, having a salad. So now the rain has started. It's kind of off and on, but when it hits, it's hitting hard. You know, I, I may have said in a vlog earlier this week, I don't remember, I was kind of bummed that I didn't get a chance to go to Atlantic City to the DJ Times DJ show. Um, and see all my friends, see all the people I get to see once, sometimes maybe twice a year, sometimes once every two years. But you know, get to see people in the uh, industry and, and talk shop and see what all the latest things are and what can we do to bring, you know, what can we bring to the table to make things better uh, for our clients. I'm hearing from so many people it wasn't that great a show, that there was just, that Atlantic City's going downhill, you know. All the workers from the Taj Mahal were out front um, picketing and so there was problems there and they said a lot of the places in Atlantic City are closing down and it, it's just getting bad and I, I don't I hate to hear that but I'm glad I didn't spend the money to go to a show that may not have been that great all right so I'm finally back at my desk now I can finally get this work done I need to get done get a couple of quotes out get stuff ready for tomorrow got like all these projects I want to go do in the garage I want to get my office like rearranged and everything, and I can't because I got this work to do, so the ADD's going a little crazy. Just remember, you can't spell daddy without ADD. tables to align your information exactly as you see fit. So I have a question. I'm getting more and more requests from brides who are saying, please do not play ghetto rap music at my event. Are DJs playing ghetto rap at weddings? If a bride requests it, that's one thing. If you don't have requests for ghetto rap music, don't play it at a reception. Really? Yes, yeah, she wants to watch himself. Here we go. You ready? All right, so this can be considered, I don't know, a hazard, if you will, of dating a DJ. Tarsha just called when no, did I want her to come over. I always want Tarsha to come over. I mean, who doesn't want their girlfriend around? So, so here's what I have left to do. I have to create monogram, create photo booth strip type schedules for wedding. And I need to load trailer 
for two event, I need to charge lights. That's the work related stuff. What about fold five loads of laundry? So here's the thing. People have the misconception. That number one, DJs work four hours per week. People that do weddings, we work four hours per week. That's not true. My day tomorrow, I will be getting up about 5 a.m. 5.30, depends on how much I get done. Um, I have to be at Mercer at 6.30 to set up to DJ from 7.30 until 2.30. Tear that down, go to the wedding venue, set up the wedding, the, the monogram, the, um, the lighting, the DJ rig, all that. To be ready to go by 6.30 is when the guests are supposed to be arriving. And it's over at 10, I'll get home about midnight. So that is a 5 a.m. till if I make it in bed by 1.30 or 2, that's a 5 a.m. to 2 a.m. day. Four hours. You do the math. All right, so I've got done upstairs what I can get done for now. And now it's time to get the trailer loaded. It's like so thick in the humidity you can just cut it with a knife out here. Oh well. All right, so trailer's loaded. And um, I'm gonna cut tonight's vlog right here because I've gotta get up early tomorrow and I've got just one or two other things, including eating some sushi. With Tarsha, she's gone to pick it up, but um, I gotta get up real early tomorrow morning. So uh, look forward to tomorrow's vlog as uh, it's gonna be an all day affair. Don't forget, if you like what you see, hit that little subscribe button down there. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. So here's the thing. It's, it's crooked again. Oh. Oh, it's Alright. That's really crooked.